How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric Tech. And today we're going to be taking a look at the TCL Stylus. This is my first TCL Stylus or my first TCL device that I've uh, been able to get my hands on. And this is exclusive to T Mobile. It does offer a stylus, much like the Moto Stylus and the LG Stylo. But now the LG is out of the game. I guess TCL is trying to take over and uh, give us what LG couldn't. So uh, we're gonna take a look at the device and uh, check it out, set it up, and then run over some things about it. So very excited, subscribe, like and share this video, and let's take a look at the TCL Stylus. Brand new, exclusive to T-Mobile and Metro PCS. So let's go ahead and crack her open. So this is a budget device coming in about $260, $270. You could probably get this on a good deal if you uh, add a line or go on over to T-Mobile. This is the uh, box it comes in. So very, very excited. This is a very big phone, a lot bigger than the uh, OnePlus N20 that I just got. And that also is a budget phone. This is going to have the MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset. So uh, as far as power goes, it'll be able to get the job done. It's not going to be, you know, an absolute beast. You got some paperwork in here from TCL. You got your SIM ejection tool. And look at that. You get a charging brick in the box. I believe this is 18 watt charging. So not bad, uh, especially for a budget device. They give you that charger. You get a USB A to USB type C charger cable in there as well so very very nice now i'm excited to put this up against the uh oneplus nord n20 to see exactly how it fares so let's go ahead and crack it open and see how this device looks so it's a very nice feeling device very robust feeling and it looks quite nice actually if you can see it in a light very, very nice looking device. You get your TCL branding right here at the bottom. You get your quad camera set up on the rear here. Uh, it's going to be a 50 megapixel main sensor, five megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor, 13 megapixel front facing camera. They are all capped out at 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second. Cool thing about this is that you do get stereo speakers which you do not get on the oneplus nord n20 so that is pretty cool and i'm excited to test those out so it feels really nice you get this little of a, a ridges along the edge right there i don't know if you could see that but it feels really nice and i can see myself messing with that a lot and uh, the display is an ips display so i would have liked to seen an oled display but it comes in at 6.81 inches IPS 500 nits, uh, 1080 by 2460, and it is only at, again, 60 hertz. This is a budget device, so keep that in mind. I would have liked to send 90 hertz, yes, but keep the price down. They made it an LCD and given us only 60 hertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of expandable storage. Yes, expandable storage. You do get a headphone jack as well. So very, very nice. Android 12 out of the box. It's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So a little bit lower than most of the competition out there right now, as far as budget phones go. And the four gigabytes of RAM, um, excited to see exactly how that fares since uh, they should have thrown in six gigabytes. So I don't know how four gigabytes is going to do, but this is my first uh, TCL device that I've ever had. You got your uh, fingerprint sensor in the power button right here. You get your volume rocker at the bottom. You get one of your stereo speakers, headphone jack, USB type C. And look at this, you get a stylus. So this is going to be pretty interesting to test out. It's pretty heavy. I think it's made out of metal and it feels really nice in the hand. And you get like a little magnetic thing to where it'll automatically jump in there and it won't fall out on you. So very, very cool. And I will be testing out that style as far as the latency goes and exactly how this works. So pretty much not going to be able to do much with this. Obviously, just interact with the device and write notes and stuff. It's not like the uh, stylus you get on the 
Galaxy S22 Ultra to where it has Bluetooth functionality, but still pretty cool for 260 bucks. That's pretty nice that it includes its own stylus and a silo that it goes into so you don't have to buy any extra case. So let's go ahead and set it up and take a look at the device and uh, check it out. So don't go anywhere, guys. We got the device all set up now and let's take a look at some of the interface. So this is a pretty different interface than what uh, we're usually used to. This is TCL, so I kind of like the look of this. It looks pretty cool and it looks pretty basic, but not in a bad way. It looks really nice. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, display options, dark display mode. Uh, let's go ahead and go back dark mode. Let's go ahead and turn that on. So very, very nice. Like I said, this is an IPS 6.18 inch, uh, 6.8 inch uh, display at about 395 pixels per inch. So the display looks pretty good, especially for the price. It definitely gets bright enough. You get some uh, color modes right here, vivid, natural, and let's go to advanced. So you get an RGB such setting in there as well. Let's go ahead and keep that on vivid. And then uh, let's go ahead and go into display size and fonts. You got status bar and dotch. Uh, is that supposed to be a notch for the uh, display settings? Go into more display settings. You get full screen app. So very, very nice. Let's go ahead and go back. Uh, you got your NXT vision right here. So very nice. You get a whole bunch of different enhancements. Uh, for you get image enhancements. Uh, automatically enhance image contrast and sharpness for dark details, video enhancements, enhance the color contrast depth of details of video to bring a cinema grade visual experience and game enhancement. So very nice on that front. So far the haptics on here are way better than the uh, OnePlus Nord N20. They're not as springy and they actually feel pretty good on the TCL stylus. So that is definitely a good thing. You get all your notifications right there, uh, sound and vibration. So you do get stereo speakers on here. So that is uh, quite nice. Let's go ahead and check out some of the ringtones on here. So you do get some cool looking, cool sounding ringtones on there as well. And so far these stereo speakers sound pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, storage. So uh, 14 gigabytes out of 128 is used, but keep in mind you do have micro SD card expansion. So that is very, very nice. And then uh, let's go ahead and go into system. And this is running Android 12. Let's go ahead and see if there's any updates for this just yet. And it says system is up to date on that part so hopefully we do get some timely updates with this i never had a tcl phone so i don't know how the updates work and how they are you go into home screens you do have the option for some themes on here so that's very very cool you get a round style square style and a freestyle so very very nice lock screen style you get tcl lock screen style which is going to be let's see if we can bring that up so you get uh, different options right here for your lock screen as far as clocks go. We do have the uh, fingerprint sensor set up, by the way. So it's very fast. Check that out. Boom. And you also do get facial recognition, which works pretty quick as well. So very, very nice lock screen shortcuts. You can do shortcuts on your lock screen. Uh, wake for notifications and skip lock screen after face unlock. So let's go ahead and check that out. And boom, face unlock works really, really nice. And the uh, fingerprint sensor works nice too. Your home launcher is going to be TCL's home launcher. And uh, so far, uh, the home launcher ain't too bad. That actually looks pretty cool, has some nice options. It doesn't have a uh, tap to sleep option on there, but it did have a lock button to where you could uh, lock your device. Let's see if we could uh, set that on there there was a lock button on here and uh it did give you that option to uh, lock your device but i did swipe that away so i'll bring that back but very very nice let's go ahead and take a look at the camera 
So like I said, the camera is a 50 megapixel camera. So it's going to have elect uh, electronic image stabilization, not optical image stabilization. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and flip this around. So, so far, the camera quality is actually not too bad. It's actually quite shabby. It's softening my, uh, my skin just a tad bit. But the detail, I do like the uh, dynamic range on here. Uh, it does look pretty nice. The detail is there. And I think this camera would do pretty nicely. I'm going to put this up against the uh, OnePlus Nord to uh, check it out as far as budget devices go. So very, very nice to, uh, if you want to see some comparison videos between these two budget devices, comment down below. I'm definitely thinking about doing some videos uh, with these two going up against each other. So going on over to the uh, S Pen or the stylus, you get a whole bunch of different options. You get Nebo for TCL, which is a free app uh, that they included on here. And this pretty much allows you to take notes, uh, you can do math problems and things like that. You could draw, share, sign documents and things like that. So very, very nice that you could do a whole bunch with this uh, stylus on here. So that's pretty cool that they offer a whole bunch of things right here. And you do get your little menu that you can slide around and have on there. You also get my script calculator. Uh, you could write a note on here. So subscribe to sick Eric. handwriting sucks but you get the idea pretty good as far as the latency goes and it actually feels pretty good when you're writing on the screen so very very nice you do get your little clicky stuff so if you uh ocd or whatever and you like clicking stuff they give you that you get an e-signature you get a screenshot doodle you get a magnifying window which you could uh, use to uh, magnify stuff uh anywhere you go so very very nice you can move this around on there to uh, magnify stuff. Let's go ahead and go back. So very, very nice that you can do stuff like that and you can move this around. So if you have a uh, bad eyesight, you could magnify your uh, screen on there. So pretty nice. Go into more, you get a gift maker split screen. Uh, let's go ahead and see if they have any other more shortcuts. You can add stuff on here as well. You can add a screenshot, type a note, floating window or screen record. So very, very nice that you could do so much stuff on here. And I will be doing a more in-depth video on uh, the stylus and things like that, going more in-depth as far as the device goes. So very nice. I do like this uh, toggle layout on here. It looks pretty cool. You could toggle your flashlight on there and all of your different settings on here. So it looks pretty nice. And so far I'm definitely liking it. As far as speed goes, it didn't take too long to uh, set it up. So that's quite nice. And uh, it feels pretty snappy as far as performance goes, but again, we'll see about that. And uh, hopefully that the uh, performance is actually okay. So here's a closer look at that camera layout right there, your quad camera setup, and then your front facing camera. As far as speakers go, hopefully it sounds pretty good. Like I said, stay tuned. I will be doing more videos about the TCL stylus. This is just a first impressions. $260 off of uh, T-Mobile or um, Metro by PCS. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Bluetooth 5.2. So very nice USB Type-C charging, side-mounted mounted fingerprint sensor, which is pretty quick and accurate and definitely in a nice position. So this one has some potential other than that four gigabytes of RAM, which I'm a little bit uh, hesitant about. I wish it would have came with six gigabytes, but it is what it is. Android 12 out of the box, TCL UI 4.0. So, and this phone does have NSC for uh, your Google Pay and stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty cool to uh, check out. Plastic back does not feel cheap. It actually feels pretty solid on here. And I do like this uh, little textured matte finish. So it does help with fingerprints on that as well. So pretty cool. Stay tuned for more videos on the TCL stylus. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Peace.